Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Night Fox 15. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. We are trying to get King of Games. We are playing a mono stun down below. And uh, it's actually pretty consistent. Um, we were in a couple win-loss, win-loss situations here. We won four in a row to get to Legend uh, Rank 3. And prior to that, I think I went 13 in a row from Platinum to Legend 1. Plat plat something to Legend something. My favorite generation. But they are definitely one of the generation the, the one of the games that you know made me like pokemon again sun and moon was okay i mean for everybody that hated sun and moon i don't really give it as harsh criticism as so many people else did because they were trying something new and i don't blame them for it it was still pretty good i feel bad for you son because three yeah so gen three is probably one of my other favorites that being said though silver was like probably some of the happiest childhood memories that I recall because that was the first Game Boy I ever got was uh, Game Boy Color and it was for Christmas and it came with Pokemon Silver and I played the crap out of that I shit my pants not really figuratively I shit my pants when my uh, Cyndaquil evolved into Quilava Quilavia whatever the hell the name is so that was pretty sweet Shiny Quaz is awesome sick color I agree I'm about to grow fishy because he can go for five right now. So we're going to kill it. And end her turn. She probably didn't realize that she couldn't sink her on my turn now. We're going to jump, uh, jump, dump Barbaros. Also, Rayquaza is the one so far actively worshipping Pokemon. Oh shit, he's still synchroed like a mother trucker. Battle phase, yeah, we lose. We lose Star Manuela Watu. Darn. Another par shaft? We set him. We can maybe survive a turn. That's pretty much all I got. Hopefully, he activates something. Which he does! Christron Impact, sweet. Uh, let's negate that. Uh, wiretap. And wiretap again. And then... Summon our lovely champion, Parshath. Worship as in he has religion within the Pokemon world. Ew, that's weird. I didn't know so many people were, had such strong feelings about him was never a big monarch fan so my opinion is more or less meh good for you guys if you do like monarchs i just always found anytime you had to freaking tribute just it was just too much work just too much work too much work uh he's gonna go with time this right yes perfect so that's the one we wanted to get is citri okay on What's that? Six, seven, nine, four. He's going to summon Quasar, and we're going to query on, or whatever the hell his name is, and negate his freaking effect. See, I told you we waited for the right turn. We waited the right time. Um, Honestly, I don't know what makes them good. So maybe. I'm not too sure. They're probably better off than where they were, but they're not, you know, like, I don't know enough about uh, playing Salvage. Damn, son. Did he set this turn? No, he did not. I hate you. So it's a back row. Wave of Enlightenment. 800 attack. Makes him a level 3. Gonna swing in like an idiot. Debunk from the hand. That's where Parshaf comes in. Come in. I feel confident in my attack. I don't know what his back row is, but I feel confident in this move. He's going for six. That's all he can make. Oh no, this one's the one that uses banish monsters. Damn, he's going for five. Here's the five. 
Amatrix, switch everybody to push someone to defense. Skaboosh, skaboosh. We're not going to be able to do much there in that turn. Activates re-entry of the Christrons. It's actually Christron entry, but whatever. That will give him a 7 if he wants. Uh, continue the battle step, yes. End our turn. I finally made it to Legend rank. Yes, Salty Air, congratulations! What deck did you use? That's alright. You know, whatever. Magnets, nice. Did you use the new field spell card support that they got? I bet you you did. I bet you you did. Field spell support, that's a 7. Or... He's going to probably go for the same thing we goofed him on last time. We have enough life points to do it. Yep, there it is. Five. Well, that's ten. It's going to reduce the attack or the level on that one. Yep. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. He needs ten, right? Crayon's ten. Here's another Crayon. Or Craig... Burger -der 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 whatever the hell his name is. One. Two. Three. Negate. Feel bad for you. I got 99 problems, but death ain't one. I mean, we still might lose, because he, if he has a monster in his hand, it's over. If he has nothing in his hand, we can actually still win this. Smygar's effect activates. He draws Crestron Impact. Turn this card was sent to the graveyard. When card effect is activated, targets crush on monsters you control. You can banish this card from your graveyard and negate that effect. He uses Rose next. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much and she scooped! Oh, it's nice of her. Legend 3 was 6. So it is possible. It is doable. Boosh. Boosh. And boosh. Distracted76, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Uh, Salty, feel free to copy the deck. It's not hard. It's pretty straightforward. It is pretty cheap to make, too. Oh! What? Of course we're going to negate Deskbot. Who still plays Deskbots? Oh my god, that's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Love it. I think we clap desk bots as long as we get a mono auto on the field. I don't like the double back row though. That's gonna suck. Clash. Alright. Hopefully he doesn't have like fucking drowning or some shit, which he might. Direct attack. Give me the battle step. Give me the battle step. Give me the battle step. Just Yes. Oh, I feel bad for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's two in a trap. And then the uh, chick. Oh, this chick, Guardian Yetos. Oh, we can get a monster effect. That's about it. No Amano Auto turn one, which freaking blows. Turn. Fudge, Necro Valley. No bueno. I rest in peace, that guy. Yeah, we uh, we had him. Um, what them two level eight super rares? Uh, if you're referring to Beast King Barbaros, he's in a super rare ticket, I think. I don't think they play treacherous, but if they do, we have. Where can we get a mono? Ooh, but we can get a monster effect. Same way we would negate a treacherous. So it's not completely... Oh, what the hell is that thing? Flip both players can remove from play up to three monsters from the opponent's graveyard? Well, we want to negate that, don't we? Oh, up to three monsters from their opponent's graveyard. Yeah, no, no, fuck that guy. Uh, I thought it was from the deck. I'm like, oh, I only have like four monsters. Right, how many monsters? Do we have? Six monsters. I only have six monsters. If you remove them, play up to three of my monsters. 
to prevent any and all of your freaking flip effects and stupid other effects. Draw since high level. Ooh, that's not good. Triple back row. Ooh. Oh, sweetie. Don't take my stuff. Uh, just a mesh. Yeah, I know, but like, it's, it's funny. I'm afraid of walls of D. And I think two monsters is plenty. Ooh, what's he do? Once per turn, a monster with the same attribute. Nah, fuck that guy. <laughs> oh! Barrel Dragon! Ooh! Of course we negate that fool. Get the f out of here. Who runs that deck anymore? Hey oh! Distracted76 is now falling. Appreciate the fall, Distracted. You're now a true friend of the channel. Thank you. Here's the wall of D. No, let it go through. He's in striking distance of death. But we do not have Amano Awado to stop his stupid flip effects. Hey, that rhymed. And he scooped it! He scooped it. Oh. Dual standby. Here we go. Oh, Amano. Perfect. And, um, and yes, this is a great hand. Because not only do we have Rebirth of Parshaf and Wall of D for protection, but we have Amano. A lot of people in Platinum, anytime they fought an Amano and they realize that monster effects just don't work, they scooped it. Alright, if we get a monster, we can do well. I mean, I'm not I'm not totally upset about Rebirth. That's, that's still pretty good. Your Nightmare Penguins effect does not work, buddy. Voker and a bunch of other stuff. So we need a monster here so we can get some damage to his life points. Another Parshath. Wow, man, you really like hooking me up with some Parshaths, huh? If the monster attacks this card, return it to its owner's hand. Damage calculation is applied normal. Man, he's he's using up all his good ones. Target one card your opponent controls, return that target to the hand. Yeah, he's using up all his flip summons. And we still can't get a monster. Jesus. Flip Flop Frog as well. Yeah, he's playing Cockatus for sure. That's three waters in the grave. He'll be able to summon Cockatus if he wanted to. He's stalling for that spell card. We just need a freaking monster. Concentrating card. Oh my god, are you kidding me? At least we're getting rid of his flip effect monsters. Dude, this guy really is. This is like a flip effect deck. All time liked cards in the last few months just for the fact that it doesn't target, and it's a great counter to Cockatus. Finally! Jesus! Battle. And in turn, Amano goes back to our hand. All right, we can negate our Amano and summon Parshaf for a follow-up, but... I don't want to, for exactly that reason. If we had done that, we would have been, uh, we would have been down a Parsha. Or we would have had to fight a Neos. That being said, we do have double walls of D, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, because we have the double wall of D protect. It's going to set a monster. He does not realize we do piercing damage, except I have nothing for that back row, so whatever it is, it's going to hurt. Unless we do this and just pass. It's a tough one. Attack? Alright, we're doing it. Get that piercing battle damage. Ha! 800. There is a delay. Might be drowning. Um, actually, no. With that delay, there is no drowning. Careful, sweetie. You're shaking a lot of the house. Please, no drowning. Please, no drowning. Wall D. That's fine. That's fine. I can I can play around Wall D. Because we have our own. Yeah, I should have ended my turn. Yeah, Neos Fusion. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll negate that. Why not? Any scoop? Ayo! Ayo! Unless he summons your bell first turn. 
because he's going first. We do have Yabel, or we have a Monostone. Resolved, for the most part. My name is Yabel, that's not a good sign. Uh, I think it's Resolved for the most part. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we win. The only way we beat your bell is if we go first. And we're not going first anymore, so... Dang. I mean, I could summon still a mono. I could set Providence. Set this. End our turn and hope for the best. We'll set wall too. Ending his turn. We're going to swing into it just to see what happens. Because I think we benefit? I mean, he can't activate his effect, so I'm just going to do it for science. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. Hopefully he doesn't have freaking Lava Golem. And we'll clash. Fire King Island, that's pretty sweet. Cool. If he activates a monster effect, we can just negate... Oh my god, they gave us King of Games! That was King of Games. I am thanking that person, whoever they are, because they scooped for the greater good. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the Games of Kings. <laughs> Here's the deck breakdown for the King of Games for the month of November. Beast King Barbaros at 2, Guardian Eatos at 1. We had Amano Awata, which is the beast mon boss monster for this deck. These guys are the heavy hitters, but Amano Awato is the boss monster. No Amano Awato, this deck doesn't work. Concentrating current for that uh, extra damage because he's kind of small. World Legacy Clash, even though it got nerfed, it was fine. We can play it at two. It, gets, it still benefited us. Mirror Wall, uh, you can play anything instead of that. We got Wiretap. We got Debunk. Again, these are replaceable with any other counter trap. Wall of D at three. Rebirth of Parshaf, you need three of these. And Ultimate Providence, that's replaceable with any other counter trap. Obviously, the extra deck is Avenging Knight Parshaf. And Dual Standby is a required skill for this deck with Taya. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, click the little heart button. If not, no big deal. As always, I was Nightfox15. This was Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Hope to see you guys next time. We got King Games for the month of November with a mono stun down below. As always, thank you for watching, and dehooses.